Hey guys, it's me. I'm here trying to show you, or attempting to show you, my editing process for my photos. So, as I was saying in the blog post, I cool them down, so here they're already cooled down. And this particular photo I'm going to edit start to finish. So I go over here to my Visco Cam presets, which I find really helpful. And I start by checking how I like the auto tone and the auto white balance. White balance is a little cool, so I'll bring it back up, warm it up a little bit. And then the shirt is a little bright, so I will quickly throw in some highlights. And I almost never have to do this sort of thing, but this particular shirt, anything white, really can catch a flash if you're not careful. So I'll do that just to bring it down a bit. So it's not so bright. Next, I like to go through a few things. I like to add contrast. I like to fade my shadows just a hair. And I always sharpen because, and I did not write this in the post yet, I always shoot on raw. Raw captures five times as much data as shooting on a JPEG. JPEGs are not really worth your time in editing because there's not much data to edit. But raw files always need to be sharpened. So sharpen your files if you're shooting in raw. Always looks better. Now that we got that out of the way. So next I will come back over here and just crop just a hair. A lot of times I have to straighten. That heavy camera tends to pull down. Tends to pull down that tripod. It's not super tight. So there I have it. And once I've got one photo set, what I can do is I can sync them to the rest. I can just batch them. So I just have to go through and do the clicks one time and then I can auto edit, batch edit. It's very easy, very helpful, very nice. So next I export, I have a folder, 2006 Summer Outfits folder, and then I often try to name my, my photo file with a product that I'm wearing. That way if somebody were to search for Mojita Clogs or Fashionable Tote, that the photo would hopefully come up in Google. I think I'm doing that right. I just started doing that recently and hopefully it's the right thing to do. So, Mojita Clogs it is. Export. I size my photos way down so they don't take super long to load on the blog. So, I already use that name, use a unique name. And then I come over here to Photoshop Elements. I do not have fancy Photoshop. I just have like $100 Photoshop Elements from Costco or Amazon or wherever. I don't remember. But basically, I need it to do one thing. And I will show you that in just a minute. There it is. I need it to do the one thing I can't do in Lightroom, and that is stretch my background. I like to use guides to help me. And then I take this, and then I pull. And I take my guide over here again to help me line up where I want to get it. Make a box, flip back over to the arrow, and pull. And that's it. It's that easy.